Georgia woman regaining use of her hand after a stroke, and she's doing it by painting. And now she's documenting her experience in an academic journal right here that was created by an Emory professor. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Bussey shows us how it could all end up helping others. Tell me your story. This is one of my first paintings that I did when I first, after I had my stroke, and it's, it's dabbed on because I could not, I couldn't move my wrist. How did you get where you are? What struggles have you faced? I painted that with brush strokes, but the whole, the rest of it is finger painting. This is Babs. She lost mobility on the left side of her body after a stroke. She hasn't made a full recovery, but is working towards it every day. She taught herself to paint. Little by little, the finger dabs became paint brush strokes. Little by little, the mobility improved in her left hand. When I was with Dr. Balagaje, who is an Emory uh, neurologist here, and he's my neurologist, I told him I, I was so uh, so tired of just kind of sitting around because I'm, I was a very active person. And I said, I think I'm going to try painting. And he said, then you'll paint with your left hand. Dr. Sarah Blanton is a professor at Emory University. She created a journal called the Journal of Humanities and Rehabilitation. It's not your average academic journal. This journal includes humanities, the real experiences of people living with a physical disability, and the strides they've made toward rehabilitation or acts of resilience while facing adversity. They include essays, poems, even video and photo essays. She tells me she's doing this for care providers and for those who share their experiences. The care provider can learn more about what it's actually like to live with a physical disability, to listen. The person writing in finds community with other writers. They also find a platform to tell their own story. Babs is part of the project. It's not just finding an intervention that improves your motor skill. It's finding a therapeutic intervention as a physical therapist that really connects to those broader aspects of meaning making. The journal is free to read and still open for submissions. All the information you need is in this story in our Atlanta News First app. In Atlanta, Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.